Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. The most popular question on the planet. Is it actually safe to leave your MacBook plugged in all the time? Well, the answer is absolutely yes. Um, okay, if you know me by now, you know I've been an Apple tech for over 33 years, PC as well. And I'm going to tell you straight up goods. There is no harm in leaving your MacBook plugged in to power indefinitely. Um, I mean, you're going to get a lot lower cycle counts, right? So that means better battery health. And you're never drawing from the battery uh, as long as you're plugged into power. So once your battery is fully charged, voila. And you're not going to overcharge your battery because, well, the charging system automatically cuts off as soon as your battery is at maximum capacity. Now, of course, you're looking at my MacBook and you're probably seeing that it says 99%. Well, thing is, it's Catalina for you. Um, I've got Ventura on my other 2012 and it says 100%. You know, uh, my wife's got Monterey on her 2010 MacBook and it says 100%. Okay. Now, she also has a brand new battery in it. So, hey, you know, I mean, it's perfect anyways. But this battery here, um, just to give you an idea where things are sitting with it for health wise um, batteries will always charge back up to a hundred percent right it's, it's a common thing but it's a hundred percent of whatever the capacity currently is so if we look at our power settings here on our battery info we find out that uh, we have a charge remaining of 5339 milliamps it is fully charged current charging status it is not charging Full charge capacity of the battery is 5,399. So when we minus 5,339 from 5,399, we find out that over 401 cycle count, which we have, our condition is normal, the battery is installed. Well, guess what? That means that we've only lost 60 milliamps worth of running time, which equates to virtually nothing. Okay, maybe half a minute or a minute, you know, out of what it can get. Um, now, I also do not have any kind of sleep functions or any of that other power saving garbage turned on ever on my MacBooks, whether they're running on battery power or on power. Okay, I don't want any of that stuff. I want my computer to run full bore, whether it's on battery or not. Now, when you are not using energy saving features, of course, you are going to get a little bit less time for, for runtime, but it depends upon the age of your Mac, uh, depends on the condition of your battery, et cetera, et cetera, how much that runtime is going to be affected by and how will your performance will be affected on either side of the fence, right? So that's kind of where it sits. But you are absolutely in no danger of harming your battery by leaving your MacBook plugged in all the time. In fact, more and more people now are not even buying desktop computers anymore. They're buying laptops and they buy an external screen for it that is suitable for their purpose. And they run it with the lid down uh, once they fire it up and they just run off the external screen or they may run both screens at once. It kind of depends on what you want to do, right? Um, but regardless of that, your battery does not get drawn upon while it's on the charger, okay? Now, if you've had your battery running on battery power, your computer running on battery power for, I don't know, an hour, two, three hours, whatever, and your battery is obviously getting depleted, the, the best advice I can give you on this is shut down your computer completely and just let it sit for about two hours so that the battery itself and your computer, but more for your battery, your battery can cool off because when you draw from the battery, it creates heat inside the battery. So you don't want to charge a warm or hot battery. Okay. You want to charge a cold battery and a cold battery doesn't stay cold for long when it's being charged. Okay. It's going to actually get a little warm when it's being charged and it's supposed to because you're shoving power into a battery you have to expect it's going to get warm because hey it's moving the juices around and realigning all that stuff and building the juice back up and that takes energy right and energy means heat energy creates heat now it doesn't create an excessive amount of heat so you know if you want to get back to using your laptop while you're charging it 
leave it sit for an hour or two, let it cool off, then put it on the charger and then fire up your computer and you'll be just running off of your power supply while your power supply is also still charging the battery. But while you're running your computer and charging at the same time, just be aware it does take longer to charge your battery because you're taking the majority of the performance of the power supply uh, to run the computer. So you don't get as much power uh, going in. You get the voltage and you get some amperage, but you're not getting a ton load. Okay, like if you recharged your battery from the computer being cold and you just leave it powered off, doesn't matter if the lid's up or not, it powers off, it's about two hours roughly, depending on how depleted it is, to recharge a depleted battery. Okay, less depletion, less recharge time, obviously. But that's when the computer is off. When the computer is on, it takes more time to retop up your battery. So <laughs> if you want to save your battery, get the most cycles out of it, the best health response out of it, um, you know, don't ever charge the thing right away after, you know, being depleting it for a while, okay? Um, even as much as a half an hour running on the battery heats up the battery enough drawing from the computer um, that you should not be putting this back on the charger right away. Let it cool off. If you do that, you are going to maximize the battery, okay, where you're going to get the most cycles. I actually have a MacBook Pro battery sitting here. Um, let's see if I can dig it out quickly for you guys. And this thing has over 2,000 cycles on it, which is just insane. Um, there it is. And this is actually uh, an interesting battery from Apple. It's actually a hybrid. It's a combination of a lithium ion and a lithium polymer battery. And this came out of a 2012 MacBook Pro uh, that I had here uh, that uh, I was hopefully going to be using it just as a um, not running the screen kind of thing. Um, it had a video issue on the motherboard to the screen, but going out to, you know, an external screen was fine. But it started to act up and it finally went kaputi on me. So I was like, well, the battery's good. But the battery, this battery has over 2,000 cycles on it and it's still in normal charge state, uh, whatever that means, as far as how much amperage has been actually um, sacrificed out of the battery over that amount of time. So anyways, it's still a great battery as a spare backup. Even though it's got a high cycle count, it doesn't matter. It's still in fantastic condition. So it's fully charged right now. And, you know, probably somewhere near Christmas, I'll probably pop it into one of my MacBooks and just top it off because it needs to be topped off once in a while. Because once a battery from brand new, never been installed, has been activated, that's when you're no longer in what's called storage mode. And there's no way to put the battery back into storage mode uh, on a computer system, okay? You can do it on RC trucks and cars, but you can't do it on these batteries. Um, at least not any way that I'm aware of, but I know you can't do it through the computer itself. So because of that, you have to top up the battery at least every couple of months, okay? Uh, and then this way, it keeps the battery healthy and you don't deplete the battery to zero because, you know, given a long enough time, any battery that goes to zero will just fail. It will never take a charge again. And lithium ion batteries can take a hit uh, to zero a couple of times and usually that's the end of them. They won't charge again. Um, I actually had a friend that had an iPhone and uh, I put a brand new battery in it, higher capacity too, but he let it go dead. And well, he only got one shot at it and that was the end of it. It would never take a charge again. So yeah, the newer lithium ion batteries of today probably don't want to go to zero on them at all. This is an old school battery um, and I don't know what they've changed over the years, but these ones could easily take one, two, maybe even three hits of going to flat line zero, and then that's it. You're not charging again. If it's a lithium polymer battery, a lithium polymer, once it drops below three volts um, per cell, it's dead. There is almost no way of recovering it. I did manage to do it once where I did recover one once, 
um, but only on a temporary basis. The battery lasted me for, I think, three more uh, cycles, and that's it. It wouldn't. So it already had been damaged, but I did find a way to kind of recover it for a few more uses, and then that was the end of it. It was just too far gone. So just keeping that in mind, even when you're draining your battery in your laptop, okay, and it doesn't matter if it's a Mac or a Windows computer, okay, because um, all this information for the Mac also applies to PCs. Uh, in fact, a PC laptop, I, I never run mine unplugged because, yeah, I take a 75% dump in performance as soon as I unplug it from the charger. It's my gaming laptop, and I use it on a 4K 27-inch display that it shares with my Mac. So it's kind of like, well, I just leave it plugged in. I don't care. Uh, but I also have the battery set up that it cannot charge beyond 80%. Uh, PCs are a little different than Macs are, but Macs, never a problem. But I don't think PCs would be affected either because the chargers do shut off uh, once you get to 100%. So I don't see where a PC would even be affected um, you know, by leaving it plugged in all, all the time. Because I leave mine in all the time and I've never had a health issue with my battery. Uh, in fact, I always keep an eye on it anyways just because I'm kind of curious because I don't trust PCs as far as I can throw them. But it's the only thing I have for gaming right now that has some really awesome games that I love to play that there's no way I can play on my M1 or even on these old 2012s. So it's kind of like, well, for now, I'm stuck with a PC. So, <laughs> you know. But um, anyhow, so don't charge a hot battery. You're fine. It's going to extend its life. Don't deplete the battery below 5% or you're asking for trouble. Okay? That's a huge thing. Um, and, um, you know... If you're looking at cycles to drain a battery down to say even the 5% safety limit, okay, and recharge it, that counts as one cycle, okay? If you're only jar discharging your battery by say 25% in a day and then you charge it overnight, well, that's not a cycle. And you do that again the next day, right, 25%, it's still not a full cycle. And you do that again two more times in a row, then you finally hit a full cycle at 25% per day over four days, and you recharge it each time, that finally counts as one full cycle of the battery, okay? Uh, it, it's kind of like a similar idea to our SSD drives. They're good for so many terabytes of written data, which means we can fill up uh, and totally reformat the drive X amount of times, depending on the size of the drive, uh, before that drive will likely fail. But that's not always true either. Sometimes they just don't fail at all. They'll still keep going for even a thousand more times or two thousand more times. Kind of like this amazing battery from Wonder Planet here. It's got over two thousand cycles and it's still a normal charge state. That's weird. Okay. But that also tells me that somebody has absolutely maintained that battery and had never charged it when... The battery was hot, they always shut down the computer, let it cool off, then they would recharge it. Um, and yeah, and I, they probably didn't even deplete the battery either fully each time. They probably half depleted it or three quarters depleted it, and then they would charge it. And you know, but still over 2,000 cycles and still going that rock solid, that's amazing. You know, that is truly, truly amazing. Because uh, a lot of people are putting out on the internet too that, you know, even modern day Macs with the batteries we have in those, you know, um, you should have no problem getting a 1,000 cycles. Well, you should have no problem getting two or 3,000 cycles considering this one's got over 2,000 and still going strong. Um, you know, and I've tested it for runtime and it does amazing. You know, so it's like, that's pretty good. You know, it was well taken care of, well maintained, proper charge cycling and everything else. Yeah. Um, so you don't have to question this anymore, okay? You don't have an issue leaving it plugged in all the time. It's not hurting anything. The battery's not being overcharged. It's impossible because the charge circuit cuts off when the battery is charged. It's always been this way with rechargeable batteries with laptops, right? They've always had a cutoff circuit so that you could not overcharge it, right? Otherwise, people would be in panic mode all the time going, oh, I just hit 100%. Oh, I gotta get it off the charger and start using the battery and drain it down and then, oh, I gotta put it back on there again. You know, I mean, come on, seriously? No, I mean, it's, 
And people, I've seen people on YouTube that make people think that way, that it's a panic thing. That you don't leave it plugged in all the time or you're going to hurt the battery. You can't. And besides, a battery when it sits after fully charged, once it's fully charged, it will actually start to lose a little bit of power over time. It's supposed to, especially once it's been activated from the factory, okay, for the first time. It's definitely going to, um, you know. So, but as long as you top the thing up once every month to two months, you just top up the battery, you're fine. It's kind of like our power tools, same idea, you know. Um, it's just, I don't know. There, there's so much misinformation out there when it comes to laptops and batteries and how to do this and do that. And I thought, you know, it, I think it's time I straighten all this out, hopefully. And, um, you know, so hopefully you got a lot out of this video. And if you have any more questions when it comes to this whole battery thing, um, do let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, leave it plugged in. You're fine. Okay. Just don't charge the thing when you've been using it on the battery and the battery is warm at the time and the computer is warm. You want to make sure the computer is cold and that battery is cold. So one to two hours before you decide to put it back onto the charge. Okay, and if you really can't live without using your computer and you really must put it on that charger right away, um, just keep in mind you are shortening the lifespan of the battery. You are definitely damaging the battery. I don't care what anybody says about battery optimization garbage because it's exactly what it is. It's garbage, okay? That is not saving your battery, okay? It's not. It's you're putting a charge of any kind to a hot battery, you are wrecking the battery. Plain and simple. That is physics. That is the laws of the universe, okay? Which people are trying to say is not, when in fact it is, okay? All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll get you in the next one. See ya.